Hi everyone, I wanted to talk about children with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders and trauma history in regards to the therapies that we have used and had success with. Um, for the ones with reactive attachment disorder as well, we have used regression therapy. This involves, and it does not matter how old they are, this involves bottles, pacifiers, rocking, singing, a lot of repetitive movements. If you think of infants, um, when they were infants, they were neglected of the repetitive movements such as rocking, burping, jumping them up and down. Those are a lot of repetitive movements that gets their brains reacting. Um, so what you wanna do is you're rewiring their, their brain to be healthy and happy. So you have to go all the way back to when they were an infant and reattach those wires that weren't attached way back then. So this is done with regression therapy. Um, other therapies that we use are family yoga therapy. Um, you could look into butterfly kids yoga. It's along that line. We also have found great success in art therapy. We personally have not had success in play therapy. Uh, these kids just get too distracted by whatever game they're playing to really participate in the talking part of therapy. But with art therapy, they're acting out their emotions into their art, which gets them talking. Um, so regression therapy, yoga therapy, art therapy. We've also found it very beneficial to have a therapist come into our home instead of us going somewhere. Going somewhere causes anxiety. Flared up anxiety, they're not going to talk. They're not gonna work through their issues. We found a wonderful therapist. She comes to our home and works with the children. They're safe here. They know that they're safe here. They know they're secure here. Um, and they talk more when they know they're safe and secure. Um, we pay out of pocket for our therapist. This is something that we choose to do uh, the kids have Medicaid. We could obviously go to a clinic and get a free Medicaid doctor and therapist and counselor, but we want the best of the best. And the best of the best don't often take insurance. Um, and that is a price we're willing to pay to help them heal.